Okay, so this is a Netduino project that I've developed with my daughter Samantha who is in a robotics competition and what I've helped her do and basically the we've got a Netduino here with two extra cards on it. Bottom card is the standard Netduino Plus which this is hooked up to a battery now so it's come it's a standalone device and with the Netduino Plus you can hook up a, a, a network uh, cable and it can connect to the internet. In the middle is an ECG card. With this I can hook up straps to my wrist and to my ankle and with that, it could actually get ECG data. Um, here, I show a graph of actual data captured from this card. So as you can tell, that's, a, that's pretty good ECG data, and you can definitely see the markers for a pulse. And so what this program does is it's called the Heart Raternator. That's the, the name that the clever boys on the... Uh, project called it and so uh, we have a LCD screen that has uh, buttons on there and so the part of the programming I did was the LCD screen driver uh, and the ECG driver for collecting data and Samantha wrote the application that manages the uh, the actual application logic. What it does is it starts in a startup mode. You hook up the straps, and you click click a button, and now it's going to start looking to detect a pulse and look at the ECG data. So now that it's actually has a steady pulse, and it shows I'm, my pulse is currently about 65. It's kind of sensitive, so movement can cause it to go into irregular ECG, which could be like a heart attack. Once it reestablishes a monitoring, it will show that. Now, if I was to have a heart attack right now, my uh, ECG data would become irregular, but it probably wouldn't come back to being a regular heart rate. Uh, But I'm going to unhook one of the straps. So at this point, it's going to have irregular ECG data, and it won't be able to recover the data. And after about 10 seconds, it will indicate that it's going to call for help. So if we had a network interface to it, at this point, it could make an Internet call. Obviously, if you go so far as to hook up a cell phone and other devices, you would be able to do it that way. Um, it's fairly easy to hook up a uh, wireless internet card to it. Uh, or uh, also, that could also include a GPS device, which would auto automatically be able to give information. So, this is a pretty cool technology. It was not incredibly difficult to program. And... Uh, Samantha was able to do the C-sharp programming for the core application. So, um, pretty fun stuff.